XNV. It's startling when you meet. Uh, it's startling when you meet someone who assumes making their minimum payments every month means they're successfully escaping that. Yeah, it's insane. Like really insane. Right. Uh, yeah, it's crazy to me. It, it really is. One of the reasons it's crazy to me is because. Um, our family for real for homes anyway realtor real estate our family was involved with the uh, real estate market for three decades three plus decades house prices don't move like this right and if they do you're possibly living in the bubble times the bubble can continue to go on for a while longer right but a better idea would be to sell the bubble and buy in a place where it's not a bubble so for example in i forget what the area is called near san francisco there was a sort of a district where house prices didn't go up didn't reach where they were for 30 years i i got this information through wolf street right so wolf street he lives in the san francisco area and he writes articles about housing bubbles economics it's all economics right not too much politics 90 95 percent economics right and i watched an interview of him where he said oh in san francisco house prices went through the roof right triple double triple quadruple some of them i don't know if quadruple <laughs> doubled uh, you know double tripled some places right but this area near san francisco house prices didn't reach their 1980s level that's 30 years until like six months ago. Now they're like doubling in price or a year ago. Now they're like doubling in price. So the bubbles, while, meanwhile, the bubbles are coming down, right? They're down 20% some of the areas from their peak, right? So if you're into flipping houses, you don't want to buy an area where it's a bubble. And where I am is a bubble, right? You want to buy an area where it's not a bubble, right? So that's why i don't want to be indebted to the banks i don't want i don't want to be a slave i don't want to be owned by the banks right 